Hello all, uh, Project Wargaming here. I am starting to work on some my 6mm uh, Germans. Uh, pretty hard to see from here, but uh, I'll put the other lens on here in a second. I, uh, I spray paint these guys uh, first with uh, just the camo green that you get from like Krylon or whatever. It's the flat matte sort of thing. And then I dry brush uh, in gray green here, Vallejo, and put that over there. It's pretty light for what we're doing, but uh, with them being so small and in the wash that I put over top of them, uh, it seems to tone down. After that, for the flesh, I just use flat flesh. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, for the browns, I uh, use armor brown. Uh, for the green parts, the ammo boxes and stuff like that, ponchos, I just use okra. And then I use this uh, black gray. I find that uh, using uh, not black, straight black, helps uh, pick up some of the details. And then, of course, I uh, wash it all with this Agrax Earth Shade. So that's how I go about uh, painting them. So without further ado, I will do my best to um, get into these. But you can see here, this is kind of what it ends up looking like. Six millimeters, pretty detailed, really, for six millimeter stuff, so... Um, and of course, you know, you'll be standing three, four feet away from these guys. So I think that will do. So what I start with is I start with the, uh, the blacks or the dark grays. So I'm trying to find the best way to paint these so you can actually see, which is pretty difficult with a camera in front of your face because you'll get to see all of my mistakes. I've already done a little bit on, on these guys. That's it. And then the uh, boots. I just started painting these guys, so they are not quite, I'm not quite as fast on them as I'd like to be yet, but they'll do. There's definitely more variation to these uh, six millimeter uh, German uh, troops and just, you know, World War II troops than there are when it comes to uh, your uh, Bacchus line troops or whatever, because they're not standing in a straight line. All right, so got that. Next thing I'm gonna do is come in with the browns and there's not too many brown spots on these. They do have uh, the canteen. So it's basically just a little touch. That's why German troops are the uh, most uh, it, are the toughest, I think. So, because I always forget stuff on them. So there's also uh, the uh, bread box or the gas gas chamber box. I forget what it is. But just this little round thing. Now I'm going to go to the okra. So I paint the uh, poncho back here. You can see that these are pretty bright. But then, of course, when you put the, the wash on them, it'll uh, dull it down. Um, 
And then if you want, you can just come in and hit the sides. And then now I'm going to go in and paint uh, the ammo, the uh, magazine holders. Mm, don't really see anything on that side. Oh, up underneath here. And then over here. And then I think I'm going to hit this right here, too. All right. Um, one thing I noticed on my other miniatures was that I should have probably tried to paint uh, this guy's webbing just in the front. Just to make it a little bit darker than his, uh, his uniform. Particularly since I dry brushed and it pops a little bit more. This brush that I'm using is a Winsor Newton Triple Zero. Uh, series 7. So, that is pretty much it as far as the uh, colors go. And then I just come in and hit the skin. This is pretty bright skin. But, again, them being 6 millimeters and 3, 4 feet away, it's okay to make them pop and give you a little more contrast than you typically would with your uh, 28 millimeter figs. Sorry if this uh, keeps going out of focus. Like I'm using this zoom in lens and I forget how, how much you have to stay close. All right, uh, one thing that I forgot was the little stick for the grenade. And that's it. That's all I really do. I think that's good enough for uh, playing on a tabletop. I guess you could maybe make an argument that they look look fine before they're even washed. But uh, I don't know. I just like to give them a wash, make it a little bit uh, clearer. Use kind of a crappy brush. Just come in and slather it on pretty good uh, you probably noticed that I didn't paint the belts and things like that that's just because this wash really kind of seeps into those uh, crevices and pretty well covers up where the belt would be anyways so that's it they end up kind of shiny but then you just uh hit them with dull coat so that's it